Welcome back to Level 6 Math. I'm Mr. C, and today we're looking at Saxon Math Lesson 34 on decimal place value. Now, this is a lesson that is super, super simple, um, but a lot of students make small mistakes on this one. Um, the best way to deal with this is simply to practice it. So today's homework is super, super important um, because we don't want you to make those small mistakes. So we're going to go through this quickly um, and get you right into your homework. Since lesson 12, we've been studying place value um, all the way moving leftward to the hundred trillions place. So we go from the ones to the tens to the hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, etc. If we move to the right, it's going one tenth as large as the next number from the decimal point. Okay, so if we're moving to the right, it's one tenth. One tenth of a hundred is ten. One tenth of a hundred is one. And I just think of this as either adding a zero if we're going to the left or taking away a zero if we're going to the right. And that's by, you know, multiplying by one tenth or dividing by 10, okay? So we use a decimal point to mark the separation between the ones place and the places with the value less than one. Um, places to the right of the decimal value are called the decimal place. So here we show one tenth of one is one tenth, but one tenth of one tenth is 100, and you'll notice the word of here, um, we're familiar with this already, it means multiply. So one tenth times one tenth, one times one is one, ten times ten is a hundred. One tenth of a hundred, ten times a hundred equals a thousand. So that's how we figured out going over is we just add another zero each time to the fraction. Okay, so we have the ones, tenths, hundreds, thousands, and it will keep going, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, etc. So um, thinking about money is a helpful way to remember decimal place value. They include the mill here, and honestly, that's not going to help me remember decimal places because usually when we deal with money, we're just dealing with cents, which is up to the hundredths place. Um, a mill is a thousandth of a dollar. We use that in gas, which is stupid. We could easily just round to 230 instead of 2.99, um, which is 29 and 9 tenths. I don't know why they do that. I think it's mostly tradition. Um, but you can think of 2.299 is about the same as 2.30. Um, it's just a little bit less. So we can extend beyond the thousandths place to the ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millions, and keep going, just like we can go left further and further and further. Very rarely will we go past the hundredths place in decimals. Um, now going to the left into the hundreds, thousands and stuff. We usually do, we go as high as we can on that one. Um, but we can usually round the decimal point because it's just the value out of one, right? And so the decimal is not gonna be as critical um, as the actual number, the whole number. So which digit here is in the hundreds place? Remember if we go from um, the decimal point over to the right, we go the ones, tenths, hundredths. No, we start in tenths. That's right. So that's the tenths. This is the hundredths, the five, because 45 would be out of a hundred. So we would remember um, two digits is the hundredths. So this one's going to be five for the hundredths place. Which place value is eight here? That would be the tenths. I always think the ones, because we start on ones going this way, um, 67, sevens, in the ones column, but going right, it starts in the tenths because we're dividing by 10, so it makes sense. That's it, that's the whole homework, or the whole lesson. Um, so you're just gonna have to practice this in your book. All right, good luck.